At this point, I could boldly tell you that the game is getting crazier, more strategic, and these housemates, your true colors, are coming out day by day. These guys are going to backstab each other till the latter, and they will not feel any bump about it because, after all, it is a game and there must be one winner. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the fights, the verbal fights between Yolanda and Lerato, the conversation where um, Mpumi is trying to take away Liema from Jareed and how Lerato is trying to manipulate Makeke, her puppet, to do her beatings. And then Elle's trying to see that she could get the man after all. This and more you're going to get. So stick around, subscribe, click on the bell button to have a notification on every post I make. Don't forget to share comments down below and also share this video so that more people can get to see. Now let's get right into the gossip of this video. So earlier, um, the eviction happened. We saw four people leave, Chuenza, Taki, Mile, and Mitch, and two of whom are besties or close friends with Yolanda. Those are Mitch and Chuenza. This left her in tears, very moody and somewhat keeping to herself tonight. We saw that she's been upstairs almost throughout the night. Um, just reminiscing on the good times they've had and then you know as expected some housemates will want to show care and concern so we saw where uh, liema went upstairs and was like how are you doing i hope you're fine you know uh your friends are gone i just came to check up on you we noticed how yolanda was like oh thank you very much i miss my babies and all that there we thought that other housemates would do the same. We saw Makeke doing something like that. But Lerato came and was schooling Yolanda, trying to tell her that I'm coming to advise you to put your best feet forward and don't be deceived and all that. Of all people, your Lerato will be the one to advise Yolanda. Now, the conversation went with you know uh instead of her comforting yolanda she was like hey i didn't like you because of your noise and all that and it's crazy that the noise she's referring to that yolanda was making was when the fake eviction of lerato and papa ghost happened and yolanda was in shock was like that was when you guys were fakely dead you i was making noise because of my friends were around and it is bothering you oh please don't bother me blah 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 and then here was lerato uh talking about um that you know uh sorry yolanda was telling lerato the one thing about you is that you think you know it all putting your nose into businesses that doesn't concern you and i think you should you fix that right and then boom lerato had to take a job at mitch and she was like i wish you told your friend that that was why he was evicted and you know of course yolanda was trying to defend her friend saying that he might have been evicted for whatever reason not necessarily because he was acting like he knows too much maybe he was playing his game and he played as good as possible for him to stay in literally i was like why would you come to console somebody you jab at the person jab at the person's friends and you think it is good you know you lerato crowned it all by saying um I will still be here because I think um, Yolanda said something like, when I did my audition, there was no Lerato there. And of course, I'm going to play my game without Lerato. Lerato was like, yes, and she's going to be here. Lerato is going to be, to be here when you, you take your leave. I'm like, ooh, oh my God, that's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from that, we noticed how Lerato left there and went to talk to one of our friends. I think it was uh, Papa Goes saying that I really thought uh, I went to go and console Yolanda and everything that came out of her mouth was rubbish you know she has proved me or proved the point that she's an empty vessel she left that particular conversation went to makeke like a puppet that the people have called him and now i'm understanding why people call him a puppet lerato was trying to use him to get some housemates a victim via strike or whatever way now makeke said he was targeting uh the z puppy uh Chip saying that if he finds a way to pull Z out of the relationship because she she is the pillar, then we would see that Papi might get evicted or get to lose his way in the competition. But Lerato was like, no, 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 no. I want you to focus on the girls, get the girls out, you know. This sort of the guys, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't have much of a competition. I'm like, wow, wow, wow. This is crazy. I was able to like 
I went to Alanda to to literally make her feel at ease, but she really answered me like an empty vessel. No, the thing about you, you think you know everything. Speak to that. Maybe you should have told that to your friend. That's how he left. I'm, I'm here to advise you. Put your, your best foot forward. No, and then there's something that's way too confusing. You know, this statement, women are the greatest enemies of women. A woman is the greatest enemy of a woman is so true because the crazy, unbelievable throwing under the bus that these girls are doing is crazy. So um, we later saw that Lerato, Mpumi and Liema were having a conversation around the dining, the kitchen area. And, you know, uh, Lerato was just trying to tell them that if they want to play the game the way they are playing it, they should continue. But he, Jareed, is the man and they need to get used to it. Most men like to be in charge of the situation. This is in contrary to what uh, Mpumi says she likes. She doesn't want it that she would be seeing and hearing the narrative that, you know, uh, Jareed is the goat, he is the man, he's the one playing the game, using the girls and all the now yards. So right now, the fact that her and Liam are always every weekend, every Friday, they're having conversation and try to settle issues between themselves just because of one man. She doesn't want it anymore. And that's why she thinks they need to just get their self out of the equation. But then she was saying all these things, looking at Liam, and Liam was just giving a straight face. Basically, Liam was not agreeing to what Mpumi was saying. And then Mpumi had to ask her, like, okay, then um, Lerato asked her first that, is this a game for you or you really are, like, is your emotions involved in this? She said, well, on a normal day outside the house, she would not involve herself in such rubbish. It's just because of this house. And she cannot help it. She is in it already and is what it is. And then, of course, Mpumi had to ask her, uh, so is this you saying that you have feelings for him? And she says, yes, I admit that I have feelings for him. And I'm like, ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> when people just was trying to manipulate Liam to get out of the picture so that both of them can you know in quotes win the game over Jareed but it's not working girl Liam knows that it is it makes her relevant to being whatever nonsense she, she is in with Jareed and then we notice that Els went behind her friend Mpumi's back to go and sow seed of you know don't care about the other girls I am the in thing and I'm like what the hell so Els was talking to Jareed who was on the on a bed or the ground and she was doing random stuff and she was like um I don't really know how you cope with those girls I am very different from them you know I I would not be like them you know she was doing some hand sign and what she was referring to is that they are too clingy because she said it I don't like clingy people but you know you're just always spending your time with them you can't even give space for your own self I'm like oops girl is that how low we're going to right now because it is giving low low under the boss low because what in the world and then you know else went on to say there's just one thing that is making them not really blend her and jareed now she had asked jareed what it was for him he, he was beating around the bush as obvious uh then she was like it's because he is alpha ish and she's like alpha she likes to be in control and he says he likes to be in control and i guess that's what is going to be their clash but he was like you know what maybe someday in the future someday soon they would find a, a mutual ground soon she left the picture and then we saw that liema sneaked in to have her own time with the man at this point he is the gem and the ladies are flocking around him like bees to a honeycomb and then you know they're having conversation and Liema threw Mpumi under the bus according to her oh I was talking to Lerata on Mpumi and Mpumi said that you guys even have deep talks nothing of that sort and blah 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 and he was like oh wow really like literally she doesn't even know things about me but I know things about her things she likes things she doesn't like her color and stuff but it is a, it is what it is everybody's playing a game i'm just ha heartbroken and disappointed that someone i thought was real turns out to be the one who is playing me now liema felt some type of way because she stood up i was like ah, oh, heartbroken i guess other girls are fake she now saw that in the eyes on the mind of um jareed he places um mpumi at a high pedestal more than her but of course it's not like she is not valuable. After all, uh, he told Els that for Mpumi, they have deep conversations. Um, Mpumi has, she's thoughtful, she's wise, she speaks so deeply. And then when it comes to um, Liema, Liema is a lovable soul, a very loving soul. And that's what draws him to both ladies. But of course, 
Liam has sowed the seed of dislike. <laughs> and I cannot wait to see how this all falls because this is crazy. And with what's happening between or amongst us, it's something that I felt like, no, I don't think I need this. I don't like clean people. Yeah. And that's why it gets boring for me. Maybe someday we'll reach a general consensus. I'm really surprised. I'm having a conversation with Bumi. Bumi was like, you guys don't really talk. 